Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I recently did a video on using a windscreen with a canister stove. I made one video and learned a little bit about that and then published a subsequent video showing how you can safely use a windscreen with a canister stove. Now I had a lot of different people comment how imperative it is to use a windscreen with an alcohol stove. If you watch the channel, you know that we like to do more than just say something is good or sounds good. We like to prove that it is good. So stay tuned and as scientifically as we can, we're gonna to try to figure out how effective a windscreen is at increasing the efficiency of your alcohol stove. Thanks for watching. So pretty simple concept. We're gonna take two cups of water and we're going to get it to a boil with one of my DIY alcohol stoves. We're gonna to try to measure how much alcohol it takes to bring two cups of water to a boil with and without a windscreen, and we're gonna see how long it takes. So let me set things up. All right, we're gonna do this in grams. This is my alcohol stove with plenty of alcohol, more alcohol than we will need to get this to a boil. So we're looking at 53 grams, okay? I'm gonna write that down. All right, so we're gonna set this to go. So we are bloomed. We're gonna put this on, set it to start. Make sure we put our top on. Let's see how long it takes to boil two cups of water without a windscreen. All right, guys, we've got a boil. What we're gonna do is take this off and we're gonna take our cup here and snuff this out. All right, now we can let that cool a little bit and then we're gonna measure how many grams we have left in there and we'll subtract it out and see how much it took to get this to a boil. Try to do it as quickly as I can, so I'm putting it on top of this. So that's 31, 31 grams, which minus 53, that's 22 grams of fuel to get it to a boil with no windscreen. All right, so we're gonna measure the next bit of fuel. I added some more, we're at 55 grams. So we're gonna start at 55, now let's use a windscreen. So let's light it up. Once again, we're gonna have to watch for when it blooms, now this is cooled off, guys. Okay, this is cold again. All right, so we're bloomed. We're gonna put this on. There we are, we're gonna start it. We are going to put our windscreen around it. Just like that. And let's see how long it takes to boil. We've got a boil, not as prepared here. We got a boil, let's shut it off. Take this out of here, make sure it's off, and it is. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Ooh, it's a little warm, that's zero. 34 grams, so what we got is 35, it changed, 35 grams, and that means it took 20 grams to get it to a boil instead of 22. Now, of course, guys, we always try our best here on the channel to take it a step further. So let's do one more test. We use this, basically, it looks like about a two and a half inch, I don't know for sure, two and a half inch uh, windscreen. Will it make a difference if we use a huge windscreen, a windscreen that will come up all the way along the sides of the pot itself? Will that make a difference? Let's check it out. I can tell you guys we got 49 grams of fuel in here. I'm not gonna waste y'all's time and show me uh, measuring it again. 49 grams. Let's get this started. We do the same thing. But we're gonna use the taller windscreen and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. And there it's primed. So we're gonna put it on. Put on the top, turn this on, and let's put our big old windscreen. You guys aren't gonna see it. I do wanna give it a little bit of room. But it is going to, as you can see, really cover. I'm gonna check and make sure it's still on. And it is on, I can feel the heat. So it's gonna cover that pot completely. Now it still has room, okay, to ventilate, all right? It's still got plenty of room. I have at least an inch around the cup on each side. It's just creating more of a vortex and allow more of an oven type reflective heating. So will it make a difference? Let's find out. All right, guys, you can't see it, but that is a boil. i try to get all this out of the way without causing any major issues. Don't want to spill anything. And let's put this out. Six minutes, 25 seconds. All right, we'll zero this out. Put this on top here, that's a little warm. 
32 grams. 32 grams, so let's talk about this and see what the numbers show. All right, so let's talk about the results. So first of all, remember, we used no windscreen. We used a windscreen that came up about half an inch up the side of the cup itself, and then we had a windscreen that went all the way over the top. It was almost an inch over the top of the Tokes 750 milliliter pot. So without a windscreen, it took eight minutes, 52 seconds to come to a boil. It started with 53 grams of fuel. Stepping up to the first windscreen, it took seven minutes and 26 seconds to get it to a boil. That one started with a little bit less fuel in it. I just didn't add as much, but it ended up using 20 grams of fuel to get those two cups of water to a boil in seven minutes and 26 seconds. That came out to one minute, 26 seconds faster than without a windscreen. Pretty significant. Now when we move over to the taller windscreen, the one that's much taller, it took only six minutes, 25 seconds to get two cups of water to a boil. It used 17 grams of fuel, which was five grams less than without a windscreen. And that was a full two minutes, 27 seconds faster than without a windscreen itself. So with a short windscreen, you're looking at about a minute, 26 seconds faster. With a taller windscreen, two minutes, 25 seconds faster. Smaller windscreen, two grams of savings on fuel, and with a taller windscreen, five grams of savings on fuel. Pretty good numbers. What we would expect, I think, but pretty good numbers. So like I said at the beginning of this video, we don't like to just say things work, we wanna prove it. We were able to take a look at this and make a hypothesis, maybe you might say. It should take less time and less fuel to get two cups of water to a boil if you protect the flame from wind. Now the interesting thing is, guys, it's not even windy here. It's not windy at all. I have a flag over here, it's dead still. Imagine how much bigger the impact would be if there was actually wind. And that's why I wanted to do it today. With no wind whatsoever, you still had significant improvement in boil times. Almost a minute and a half with the smaller and obviously lighter weight windscreen. If you wanna carry a little bit bigger windscreen that does weigh a little bit more, I'll put the weights down here. You can get about two and a half minutes faster boil time. Now what does all this mean? Well, it's whatever you want it to be. I just wanted to answer a question. Does it really prove itself to be more efficient using an alcohol stove with a windscreen, even on a basically windless day? The answer is clearly yes. I think it would be interesting to do the same test with a Trangia, for example, just different alcohol stoves to see if certain ones are more efficient. But I think in general, since I use the same alcohol stove, the same amount of water, and a consistent wind environment, we can get something from this test. Once again, these are the kind of videos that I love to make. I love just looking at the science of all this and seeing if the things that we think should happen actually happen and proving those things. I don't think it's a surprise that the results are the way they were, but I'll be honest with you, I was surprised at how much improvement you got. Two minutes and 26 seconds improvement in boil time simply from having that tall windscreen that creates almost like an oven. I can tell you when I was touching the top to pull the top off to check if it was boiling, it was hot and that's the only time it was. So clearly that entire pot is getting a lot hotter and it's showing in the boil time. So you like this video, guys? If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. If you do that, it really helps spread it across YouTube, and that's how our channels grow. If we get likes and we get comments and we get shares, our channels grow. So any like or comment would be greatly appreciated. If you like the content itself and you wanna make sure you see other content like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. It really helps a lot as well. Continue to grow, and that is exciting. If you wanna make sure you're the first one to know if I release a video, hit the ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. Spring has definitely sprung here in Louisiana, guys. It is beautiful. I'm gonna do a little fishing back here in the pond and enjoy the rest of my Tuesday off. Hope everyone is doing well and stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.